with growing software testing industry and there are new and new automation testing tools coming into the market if you are stuck with the decision whether you should be learning selenium or cypress then this video is for you in this video i am going to talk about selenium and cypress so if you are new who is just starting and trying to learn a new tool or you are already experienced person and thinking to learn any new automation tool which is trending in the market right now in order to expand your own skill then this video is going to help you get that clarity so in this video i am going to discuss what is cypress what are advantages and disadvantages of cypress and what is selenium and what are its advantages and disadvantages also i am going to draw some differences between cypress and selenium and at the last i am going to make it clear when to use cypress and selenium and which one is going to be helpful for you so without any delay let's start this video hi my name is amit tripathi and i have more than 9 years of working experience in it industry and i make videos on automation testing it industry software testing and ai tools so if you haven't subscribed my channel and visiting it for the first time then please make sure to subscribe it and if you find this video helpful for you please don't forget to press like button these videos takes lot of efforts to create so please make sure to subscribe that is going to help me and like also so first thing first cypress is an advanced automation testing tool built for modern web application it is built keeping developers as well as manual testers in mind so whether they wanted to do unit testing component testing end to end testing regression testing or api testing this application or tool is going to help them do all of this its unique architecture basically helps to run tests directly into the browser which enables tests to run faster and with less failures due to the flakiness the architectural improvement in cypress helps testers perform test driven development with complete end to end testing and this makes cypress to make development and testing a parallel process now coming to the next part which is advantages of cypress first advantage is direct access to the dom unlike any other automation testing tool like selenium cypress has direct access to the dom elements which makes tests more faster and reliable because it is directly interacting into the dom elements and which is not available with other tools so cypress because it can interact into the dom which makes tests more reliable and fast to execute so second advantage is real time reloads cypress offers a feature where it automatically reloads whenever you make changes to your tests you can see test results directly as you change your test script so that is very cool feature in cypress where you make changes in your test and it is going to give you results instantly based on whatever you have changed so next advantage is automatic waiting so cypress automatically waits for your commands to execute in the dom so if any particular web element is not present on ui this is going to wait automatically in this manner you don't have to put explicit waits or sleep in your test so if automatic wait is there then it is going to make your test more reliable and efficient as well because you are not putting explicit waits where tests are going to wait for longer time and because you are not putting explicit waits or sleep in your test cypress is going to execute your tests in less time because it automatically waits for the web elements to present on the ui next advantage is debugging with cypress you can easily pause your test case in order to see what is happening into the dom or what is happening on the ui so with that feature basically it gives more more control for any automation tester to look into the test and what is happening in and out and debug in a better way now coming to the next advantage which is network traffic control with cypress you can stop and control your network requests which are coming and going to the browser with that whatever requests are being made from your test so you can go directly into the network tab and you can control whatever communication is being made that helps any automation tester to look into the network traffic and enables you to test more and more edge cases 
Next advantage is screenshots and videos. So Cypress gives this feature of screenshots and videos inbuilt. So if you wanted to execute your test cases and capture screenshots or videos whenever your test case fails, Cypress has inbuilt feature for this as well. So this further helps in debugging the test cases. Next advantage is extensive documentation and community support. So Cypress has very good documentation on its website. So if you wanted to start Cypress and you are looking for where to learn and how to learn and all of those things, then you can directly go into the documentation part of Cypress and you can get all things documented over there. And because Cypress is growing a lot and it has very good community ways. So if you get stuck somewhere, Cypress community is going to help you and you can post in such communities and you can get help from there. Now with advantages, there are limitations as well, right? So with Cypress also, we have certain limitations. Like if you are using Cypress, then you cannot run multiple browsers, multiple types of browsers at the same time. And Cypress only supports JavaScript or TypeScripts for creating tests. So if you have background of Java, Python or C Sharp and you are thinking to learn Cypress, then you have to learn JavaScript for sure. So another limitation is that Cypress has limited support for iframes. Now, since we are talking about Cypress a lot, let's come on Selenium. So as many of you who are watching this video may be aware of Selenium. Selenium is a very popular automation testing tool. It was founded in 2004. So recently Selenium has celebrated its 20th birthday and because 20 years in the market, Selenium has grown up its community a lot and it is very very popular automation testing tool so with selenium basically you can automate your browser so selenium also tells that you can automate your browser using selenium it's up to you what you wanted to do with that power now coming to the architecture of selenium basically selenium follows web driver architecture which uses json wire protocol in order to interact with the browser so like in cypress it has natively access to the DOM elements. Selenium don't have native access to the DOM elements. And if you wanted to interact with UI elements, you have to use JSON wire protocol to interact with UI elements on the browser. So what are key advantages of Selenium? Basically Selenium is a cross-platform automation testing tool. Whether you have operating system like Linux or Windows or Mac, it is going to execute your test cases on multiple platforms. Also, if you are going to execute your test cases on multiple browsers, so it can execute on so many browser, you name that particular browser and Selenium is going to execute your test cases on that particular browser. So it is a cross browser testing platform. So you can execute your test cases on so many browsers. Also, Selenium provides flexibility to choose your language. So there are so many language bindings available with Selenium. So whether you wanted to uh, learn Selenium with Java, Python, C Sharp, Ruby, Scala, so many languages are supported by Selenium. So if your team is knowing JavaScript, Selenium is going to help you with that also. So whether your team knows Java or Python or any other language, Selenium is best fit for your team. So that is the flexibility with the language in Selenium. So now coming to the limitations of Selenium. So Selenium don't have any inbuilt test results generation support. So if your tests are running, then you have to use any other test generation or test result generation tool like extent report or LEO report in order to generate the results or logs of tests you are running in Selenium. Another thing is that Selenium don't have automatic wait. So in order to wait for certain condition, you need to put an explicit wait or you have to wait for certain condition to happen. And then only Selenium is going to perform some action on the web elements. So you have to provide some explicit weights in that case. Now, uh, testing images. So Selenium cannot support image testing basically. So if your website needs testing on images, then Selenium cannot be the good tool to start with. Another limitation is that 
selenium has flaky test related issues so because selenium don't have inbuilt auto wait feature we generally see flaky tests where sometime my test passes or fails and we don't able to understand why tests are failing it may may be because we have certain weights which are not sufficient for any particular element which is coming up on the dom and we are going to perform action on that so these kind of limitations are existing in selenium now coming to the cypress versus selenium differences so now if we see key differences between cypress and selenium first is language support so cypress only supports javascript but selenium has support to all popular languages like java python ruby c sharp php etc so now related to the browser cypress has limited support to the browsers like chrome edge firefox or electron like browsers but selenium has all the browser support so being it chrome ie safari edge firefox opera so many browsers are supported by selenium again framework support cypress only supports javascript based frameworks because it only has javascript as language binding so only those frameworks which support javascript can be used in case of cypress but in case of selenium there are multiple frameworks based on the specific programming language you can use so being it junit uh, for java cucumber for javascript so like that you can use multiple tdd or bdd frameworks uh, which are available based on the languages now coming to the setup complexity setup is simple in say, cypress because no dependency or additional downloads are required but in case of selenium if you are using more distributed systems like selenium grid and all then it could be a bit challenging because it needs more knowledge about different infrastructure related things now next thing is documentation and community support because cypress is growing a lot with all different advantages it has so it is having very good documentation and it has very good active rapidly growing community and because selenium is growing from last 20 years and it is well established automation testing tool it has very good documentation and firm community support from across the globe now coming to the last part of the video which is when to use selenium or cypress so cypress is preferred over selenium when one needed single framework for multiple things to do like component testing api testing end to end visual accessibility and performance testing and video recording capability of test execution is already available in cypress out of the box retry capability of actions performed over elements because auto wait is there and retry capabilities are there so it reduces flaky test for cypress so if one wanted very efficient test execution then cypress is very good tool over selenium uh, next is single programming language across development and automation so if your development team and automation team wanted to use single language then cypress is going to help you now next is if you need to interact with network related things in your test cases then cypress is going to help you with that as well next is cypress saves time building framework from scratch because cypress provides stable and ready to use frameworks with everything wrapped up and ready to use uh, functions also test runner which provides time travel capability to go through individual steps before and after screenshots attached to debug failures so if your test has failed sometime you can literally go into the test case execution when it was executed and it is going to present all the dom videos and dom related things you can directly see the dom at that point of time when test was getting executed that gives immense immense power to the tester to debug the test cases now coming to the selenium when basically selenium is preferred over cypress so if your team needs flexibility in terms of choosing language then because cypress supports only javascript while selenium supports several languages like java python javascript c sharp many more right also in order to run your test cases on different browsers simultaneously 
Selenium offers a very good infrastructure of Selenium Grid. You can run your test cases on Selenium Grid and you can run your test cases on cross-platform, cross-browsers at the same time because Cypress don't have that kind of uh, functionality available. So in that case, Selenium is going to be best fit for your test cases. Next is cross browser testing at scale becomes very easy with Selenium because Cypress does not support browsers like Safari, which restricts the cross browser testing support when compared to Selenium. So those were some of the use cases where Selenium and Cypress could be helpful for you. And I hope this was going to help you to decide. So now I am going to share you with you very helpful perspective, which is going to help you decide whether you should be starting with Cypress or not. And if you are a newbie who is looking to learn any automation tool and is confused about whether I should be learning Cypress or Selenium, then I am going to share with you another perspective, which is related to the opportunity in the market. Okay, so now we have on this screen, knockery.com, which is very popular job search site in India. So here I have searched cypress.com. So basically Cypress related jobs I am trying to search. So if I just go down here and see how many jobs posted by companies. So 4,151 jobs were posted by companies only and more than 500 jobs are posted by consultants related to Cypress. So close to 4,500 jobs are already being posted on Cypress only. Now if I just go on Selenium, so definitely we are going to see more jobs in Selenium because it's been more than 20 years. Selenium is market leader in automation test industry. So most companies using Selenium at the moment, but you see how much market it has captured. See company jobs more than 8,400 and consultant jobs more than 1,400. So close to 10,000 jobs posted for Selenium only and but Cypress is not very behind, you know, uh, it has almost 5,000 jobs uh, just now we saw. So considerably, Cypress is very fast growing automation testing tool, which is capturing the market. And if you are trying to learn Selenium or Cypress, it is having opportunities in both. So if you are a newcomer who is looking into the Cypress or Selenium, then I think Selenium or Cypress both are going to help you and at the same time if you learn Cy Selenium then that is going to help you uh, uh, get the job more faster but if you are learning Cypress then also it is going to help you get the job because there are number of jobs available in Cypress as well. If you are already an experienced person who is already aware of Selenium and automation testing tools then Cy Cypress could be another very good automation testing tool which is growing very fast so you can also consider learning this tool and this is going to help you in your career and build more success i hope this whole video was very helpful to you and if you found value from this particular video please help me to get some likes and subscribe to the channel if you are visiting for the first time or you haven't subscribed my channel and share this whole video to your friends and uh, colleagues whosoever in need of this information. With that, Amit Ripati signing off.